What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump into it, guys, a huge shout out to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring today's video. Dr. Squatch has a full lineup of natural products for your entire routine. Soaps, hair care, deodorant, and more. All in fresh scents inspired by nature. Dr. Squatch is changing personal care with high performance products that smell amazing and have you feeling your best. Dr. Squatch has all natural products from bars of soap to hair care to deodorant to beard oil and even toothpaste. When I say the soap smells amazing, you gotta believe me. This right here, this is pine tar smell. It is my absolute favorite because it makes you smell like a man. One of my favorite products from Dr. Squatch are their bars of soap because they have different levels of grit. So depending on how dirty you get, they have the perfect bar for you to get you squeaky clean and smelling good. Unlike other generic shampoo, deodorant, body wash brands that use harsh chemicals and ingredients you can't even pronounce, Dr. Squatch's products are used using the finest products Mother Nature has to offer. And you can actually pronounce everything that's listed on the label. So if you wanna check out Dr. Swatch, it'll be linked down in the description down below. And for new customers only, you can get 20% off your order that's over $20 or more using my code DSQFLAIR. And click the link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring today's video. There's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which makes this for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Chickens, how you guys doing? You having a good time? We're not eating you, don't worry. We are starting the... Oh, we got it. Bob White Band. Are you going to grab him? Uh oh, yeah, yeah, Open yeah. the door. Hang on. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. I don't know how these suckers get out all the time. There's only one out. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, let's Let's go, go in. I'll tell you, we got to check. Look at these pheasants. These pheasants are getting... To be looking like pheasants. Hey, how you guys doing? You guys having a good time? Oh yeah, that's a little hen right there, hen pheasant. There's a couple of roosters down there starting to get color. You can see there's a little red on their eye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, Junior, where are you going? Did you get that cock? Look at him. Oh yeah. Wow. Their talons are getting sharp. Look at that color right there. Yeah, he's starting. Hey buddy, how you doing? Really? I can't believe they're uh, they're still cool with the quail. Yeah. They haven't killed the quail yet. I, I mean, think it's because we raise them, raise them together. They're chilling. So they just like, like each they're, just, they're vibing. They just think they're smaller versions. But our pheasants are doing pheasant things, so that's good. They're hanging out. See you later, buddy. Oh yeah, soon soon we will be using those guys um, for a little bit of uh, practice for for Lucy, a little hunting situation, especially with the the bob white quail. So these guys are doing all right. These guys are hanging out. They're doing their thing. Our, our water's doing good. It looks like it. We might be leaking down there these guys are good but we are headed to uh-oh blondie's wrapped up uh-oh oh, no i thought dude i thought i was, thought that was such a good idea so we wrap these barrels in this fly tape and it's super sticky okay well she's covered in it they said they would do that and like yeah. that's totally fine though they were like oh they'll eat it off of there and i think it's problem we put it around the five gallon buckets had no problems but we put them around these barrels i wonder if like maybe need to like put them on there and then take like packing tape and just do one yeah, lap so just to really them. secure it what, jigging? Yeah, yeah, Jigging. Jigging's got fly tape. We gotta get, we gotta get that fly tape off. But we, they've been working. I mean, look how many flies are on this sucker. There's all sorts of gadgets. Against it. A lot of those are the ones that are from the, the paper has pictures of flies. But we did them on the five gallon buckets, and they work pretty dang good. So, oh, there you go. Get it, Banjo. Banjo's got it. Ah, missed. Uh, <laughs> time you lost your phone. Oh, I almost got it. Stepped on it. One. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Oh, Take Ralph's pissed. Oh, watch, wow. watch. Oh, God. <laughs> He's getting you. Come here, buddy. He looks like a naked mole rat. Look what happened to your hair, buddy. Let me get this a, give this a tuggy. Oh, big boy. Oh, I don't know if he likes it or he's getting horny or what. Look at this nice wool. You guys like like that wool, buddy? Don't eat it. We could definitely start. start you know how girls sell bath water? Yeah. We could definitely sell Ralph's yeah, hair. $10, no, no, no. Banjo, Banjo will spin on it, and it's yours. Link down in the description down below. Wow. Okay, so the plan is really nothing to do with here. We are headed to the new house. We have not given an update in a while. There's been a ton of stuff that have happened, and we're kind of in a predicament. It's taking a little longer quite a bit longer than we had initially planned. And we're trying to decide, do we put this place up on the market and sell this place uh, before? Because like we, we're trying to, we don't want to wait a whole nother year to have to sell this place. Like you're, you want to sell it when it's nice outside. You don't really want to sell a house in the winter. So we're like, well, do we sell this place now? And then where do we put all, where do you put all this? Where we're building a house, there is, there's land, plenty of land, like 60 acres. So we could build the pens and we have to move everything. And it's like, where do you live? Well, that's another predicament. There is a house on the property. It's the Jelly Man house. So you guys remember they broke in. So we could always fix that place up and live there, or we could not put our house on the market and stay here and then risk the market going to poop and then not selling our house. 
house and then moving into the new house, but then still having this house and then paying double mortgage. And then Banjo's gonna definitely start an OnlyFans at that you point. Can move in with me. I mean, Banjo's technically, basement. yeah. Banjo's Banjo's basement's yeah. open for rent. You guys link down below. It's on Craigslist. There's an open listing. It's one bedroom, one bath. Three hundred dollars. Um, Three hundred. Three hundred dollars a month. A year. Sheesh. Wow. Yeah. Sheesh. You could pay him in uh, catch and cooks. Actually, yeah. he accepts that form of payment. Yeah. Um. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna give you guys a full update and kind of just let you know everything that's going on, what the plan is moving forward, what the hell we're doing with all these guys. And then, like I said, show you, show you the house. We're coming up. We've added a bunch. We added a giant 1,500 square foot man cave. Not, I know what you're thinking, not the one beneath the garage. It's not that. Another one. So we'll go through that whole layout. It was a last second decision. Brad's super stoked about it. That's, those are the things that are also pushing my house build back. So I'm like, well, you know, it's partly, partly my fault, partly just everything taking forever's fault. It's not really Brad's fault. He's, he's doing Brad things. He, he's been chugging along, doing, chipping away at everything. But that's the plan. So we're going to kind of just get these guys fed and taken care of. I guess we got to give these guys a little bit of grain. Looks like boys are, how many eggs we got? A ton? We got, we cracked a couple the other day that were uh, like bloody, so they've been definitely getting after it. Yeah, they've been in yeah. here getting. She's pissed. Hey, you're all right. So what do you got? I got four, four five. Here, I'll give them to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a dozen. Oh, that one's steamy. Yeah, she's in here working. That she's getting. Her, oh, that's hot. She's getting her dial. The thing's a hot potato. We'll get these guys fed, taken care of. As you guys saw, we butchered the meat chickens. Thank God, that was. It was great. There's a ton of meat, delicious food, but man, it was a lot of work raising those suckers. Uh, I mean, we had the chicken tractor there. There, like, if we had like a ton of flat ground on an open pasture, it wouldn't have been bad. But we had a chicken tractor them, kind of weaving in and around. They, just, they eat a lot, they drink a lot, they poop a lot. It's like my child. And I already got one of those banjo. I don't need uh, 36 of them or whatever we have. We don't need any more of that. So plenty of eggs. Six so we're good to go. For you six, six, That's six a lot. Van. I, I do, I, I do have a van that can seat. How many can I seat? Nine. Oh my God, Carlos. What is? What's going on here? Jeez. Carlos. It's a Tuesday. What the? Carlos. Carlos. Oh, he's hiding it now. Come on, Carlos. Show everybody what's going on. Oh, uh, he's he's shy. All right, let's get these guys fed. Ralphie, he looks so naked. Yeah, he looks Why do you look like that? Why'd it take you all summer to shed? Are you freaking... Are you... We should kill these turkeys. Let me just load Ralphie up, take him to the new house. Think so? Show him around. Let him walk inside. How pissed would Macy be? Oh, why is there an egg right here? What? Oh, Blondie. She oh. lays eggs. Think Blondie left for straggling? Probably. There you go. Look at him. We're getting after it. Finders keepers, baby. Found that guy on the ground. All right, well, for the most part, everything's, you guys are looking at me like you don't have food. Don't, don't they have food? Yeah, they got a feeder in there. You gonna give them a little, little give them a toss? toss? Give them a toss. <laughs> it's literally the same thing that's in your guys' feeder, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're wanting or expecting, we don't have it, I'm sorry. All right, well, everything's pretty much taken care of for the most part, nothing's dead. Free egg, so we got 13 for the day. Lucky 13. We are headed to the new house. I'll give you guys a full update, give you a scoop of what's going on. Stay tuned. Shit, we made it to the new house, folks. Look at the house, baby. Shit, doggy. She is looking mighty fine. Look at the view, folks. We're gonna be shooting clays out in, in the in the pasture here. They're biodegradable, so don't worry. But Brad, Brad the Builder, he is out here. He's actually filming his own YouTube video. We went and hung out with him for a little bit. We were going through some doors and some other stuff. And so if you want to check out that, his channel is Brad the Builder. He's doing all the behind the scenes on this. So I know it's been a while since he's done an update, but Brad literally posts like two to three times a week about my house and is really taking everybody through it so the people that really want to see the details on it so it can be found on his channel which is called brad the builder you just type it in you'll see it and bam that is what that's what she looks like right now she she got a booty from the back banjo Sick. yeah that's how jake likes his women right there you guys you see the front is still oh yeah the front's still big but the back i mean look at that's next to a 2500 size work van I mean, it's it's plenty large. I definitely don't need to keep adding stuff. But the boys are getting the clay throw ready. We bought, we, we, I bought this thing, never used it, so we're actually gonna we're gonna test it out today. And like I said, Brad's here, so I was like, hey, you wanna come shoot some pews? He's like, sure. He's never really shot a lot before, and so we've got the clay thrower, the perfect view, not a neighbor in sight. You literally can't even see any. Well, you can see a house up on the hill, but barely. You're not gonna hit anything. You're not gonna do anything like that. So this might be the designated. I mean, down there would actually be a really good designated clay box. Leave her set up. So every just, time we come, we can just rip. Them. I would say so. Why? not here's one thing that i gotta i gotta pick a pick a fight with somebody okay jake jake what is this what is it what are these called Sir there's some it's some so listen i looked out here this was all brand new dirt right not new but like it was this was no, there was nothing here before okay and i i was like i need it seated i don't have the time to deal with it and i also want to make sure it looks really good like you look at all that nice green pasture grass right like nice and green back over there so i called a landscaping guy got a hydro seater out here due to hydro seat 
and he came out and charged me seven thousand dollars let me repeat that seven for grass seven thousand for grass seven thousand dollars for grass and i was like you know what as long as it's the filet mignon of grass and it won't i was worried about everything washing away and as long as it looks good i just want it to match all the brome grass look at all the brome grass my neighbors have look at that nice green grass and i'm stuck with this shit. i don't even know what this is this isn't grass it's some type of oat and i don't even know what it is but that's it they're like do you see a blade of grass i see some dead grass that's some nice grass there's no grass. So maybe he thought he just needed to put some type of cover crop to stop erosion. $7,000? And this was in the spring. This wasn't like three days ago where it's like, oh, put in something that'll just grow in the desert. Like, I was like, no, I want grass. Like, this is my yard. Look, this is my backyard. It needs to look nice. You can't have that. And then this, that is nice. That's a bag of wieners. I, maybe you guys are like, no, Flair, he did the right thing. He definitely should have planted a bunch of freaking oats out here in your uh, in your backyard because that looks nice. I mean, it's brown, it looks like a bag of wieners. So I don't know, I just spent $7,000 on something that, I'm just, I'm yelling. That's why I gotta shoot guns. I gotta get some frustration out. What's going on here? All right, stand back. Is this thing hot? Yeah. Whoa! Look at that guy. Oh, that's a floater. Wow. wow. Oh, this buddy. This thing goes hard. Look how, some out there. look at the yeah. floater on that. And that's against the wind. The wind's blowing like that's, literally. It actually helps. It, it rises. It more. rises, yeah. really. That is crazy. All right, well, fire in the hole. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, we got pews, Banjo. What'd you bring? Oh, who took a freaking scat? Really? <laughs> hey, you, you pinched me off a little early? Banjo's planning on having a day today. Uh -oh. He brought a lot. We got to shoot all of them. That's going to be the challenge. Nope. Nah, it ain't loaded, Banjo. I'm safer than that. that was this was under the bed. While, while. No, the one under the bed's loaded. This oh, one. the old side like by this. side. Yeah. Sheesh. Does this one work fine? I think so. I don't yeah. remember. We didn't want to shoot. At I think your it's house. the 20 gauge over and under the selector. Yes. Doesn't work. Okay. No, that one. Works. That one okay. shoots. It, have, two triggers. I works. think you have more broken guns than working guns. By far. Yeah, 100%. by a mile. Yeah. All right. That's the, the that's the old side by side. We got to get dialed in with the real. That's thing. the old. That's the old daily. Hey, I don't think yeah. I've told you yet, but we have a new barrel stoker coming really? just for you. Really? Shoo. Shoo. If you guys want the shoo barrel sticker, it's not released yet. Oh, okay. I got He's work, it. Man's yeah. working on it. So you it. can shoot a duck and be like, shoot. Really? Uh, what's going on here? He's got more jerky. This more jerky? Best jerky. We got more, we got more jerky. Loin, pork loin. Pork loin. Mm. I'm serious about, I mean, I can. Oh, yeah. No, this is, this is some good stuff. I don't know. I like this stuff. How are you feeling about it? Oh, man. This is. Are you ready? <clears throat> I'm ready, though. We got it all set up for you. Do you really? Brad, yeah. We got a gun just for you. A mini? This is yours. This looks that's like. That's the old duck Say hello to my little friend. Come on, Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is this really what I get to shoot? I mean, at? if you want to, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll try it. Okay. I've seen my kids trap shoot, so I, I watch from afar. So let's yeah. see how I. And I know you don't point guns at people. But it usually, yeah, that's yeah, not. Yeah. Nate a good shot. Yeah. He's mad. Nate said he's a good shot. Is you that know, truthful or not? You know who is? Is Max. Really? Yeah. Sharpshooter. Max is really. He, good he did the trap shooting. Yeah, Max was a trap shooter. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we brought we brought the legit thrower out and everything. I was, hey, this is the best. This is the best view in the county. We gotta enjoy it by shooting some guns, you know. Hold it like that. Yeah, so that's, that's fire. That's safe, dude. So it's, there's one in the chamber. Oh, it's loaded. In. Okay. Flip that up. If you see red, it's that's, dead. That red is dead. Red is dead. Okay, so I'm live. You're live. Should I go sunglasses or no? Probably yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Get, get some protection. All right. Say hello to my little friend. Shoot it. Go. <laughs> I have no idea where that went, but that was good. You want to try, try a normal? What? One? My ears are ringing. It's it's loud. That short barrel gets after. We, wow. did, we didn't we didn't bring it gear pro. I, I apologize. Okay. Okay. Let it fly. Oh, oh man, I got bullet faster. <laughs> it's a quick. That's a quick clay this thrower. Is like the game at your house. You just the big yeah, buck hunter. Yeah, big buck hunter. Yeah. That's hard to this, aim. That's, that's a very. We'll that's, that's, a, I think, the other yeah, one. Okay, I'll get. I, I know I can hit them at some point. <laughs> Got him. That's how you do it. Banjo's got the old side sure. by side. Pull. Uh oh. Oh, we still got hey. it too. Hey. 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 Yeah, I, I forgot to throw it off. Oh. That's it. You should pour it. Which trigger I pulled? Which trigger Probably did you the first pull? one? Both oh. at the same time? Pull. And he still got it. I did. I had to try the other trigger. I love this guy. Try one and one. I want to know. I'm eating beef jerky. Banjo, are you aiming high or low? I aim just right at the bottom edge, right at that black edge of it. I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. Maybe that's a problem. I mean, not sunglasses. Oh, but prescription. Like... Oh, that was really close. That was no, really close. Cool. It might have been a hair left, but not by much. Here, I'll give you another one. Yep. Now wow. you're, now now you're, you're already off safe. You're ready so to go. You can see how green I really am. No, right you're here. doing good. You're doing good. Pull. Oh, that seemed really close. Damn. 
I don't. I couldn't tell if you were right under that one or not. Right one underneath more it. Than I have. One more. One hand. There, there it is. Go. Yeah, you're hot. Let's give a little. Yeah! Let's go! Did it! I knew I you had it. it. I better yeah. quit while I'm here. Are you going hunting with us this year? I would love to. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll we'll do some trap shooting practice yeah. ahead of time. Yeah. I think I gotta... We might leave this out here. This is awesome. And just yeah. that, you, you, if you come out, you check on their shingles. Rip a few rounds. I've seen where some guys would. Uh, they'll have some that they'll they'll. Yeah, two up, right? One goes mm. one direction, yeah. one goes another. And they make them that they oscillate. This one doesn't yeah. oscillate, but so this is absolutely a perfect place to be right I know. here. They what just float out, out there. Yeah. You load up? I think we gotta get this guy going. Pull. Close. Pull. Oh, hey. Pull. Hey. Pull. Hey. I didn't notice that thing didn't have a plug Listen, in it. Listen, buddy. No, there's no plug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll start shooting over the shoulder it, with the mirror. Just like this? Yeah, there you <laughs> go. See? It works. It's that tough though. Work. But you, I didn't do the hip. I did the risky this, where it'll come back and hit you in the face, but it's got a firm grip. Alright, pull. First click. First click, huh? Yeah. Hit it? Yeah. Okay, pull. Hey, it clicked. It clicked on the first one. We gotta try it one more time. Pull. Hey, that works. Alrighty, folks. Well, Brad's taking off, but we're gonna go. We gotta finish the rest of the clays in the sleeve here. We gotta go rapid fire. So, Banjo, he's a big side by side guy. He loves Love it. it. So, we're gonna go do a little rapid fire. I got three in here. He's got two in there. We're just gonna steady stepper. Are you filling up your pockets or what? Steady, really? Yeah. Steady, steady stepper. I mean, I could probably shoot from here depending on where, depending on where you're standing. I mean, the foot pedal is long enough that you can take it wherever. Or Jake can just keep. Yeah, Jake. Why don't you do the yeah, stepper? Yeah, I got it. You guys do well, I, 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 I was on safe. I was waiting for banjo. <laughs> oh. Keep on going. Five for five. All right, it's not right, bad. Going, what are you doing, what Banjo? This gun's not. Banjo, shoot first. Sure, I'll get first. All right. We're out. Just one for good measure. That was the last one. Ah! Hey. 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 I don't like this gun. It puts it on safe every time you open it and close it. I think that's probably a safety yeah, thing. I, like I mean, that, that is, but I don't like that. So. Well, we hit some. We missed some. Anyways, I know you guys are here for. You're here for the house. Update. Full update. A lot has happened. See you guys inside. Alrighty, folks. Well, we made it. This is, for those of you guys who are new, this is my brand new dream house that we're currently building and need to hurry up on because there's a good chance we're gonna be listing my house very very soon and i might be homeless because just the way everything's working with the the market and everything we got to get my current house sold so that i can move into this house i don't want there to be like an overlap because then you're paying for two properties at once and you guys got to hit that subscribe button a lot of times in order to uh in order to balance that act and double watch all my videos but it, instead of asking you to do that i'm just going to attempt to sell my house before i move into this thing so this is the brand new house we have been time lapsing the entire build when i do move in you guys will see the entire thing but we it's all pieced together i don't really want to show you a ton of it as far as building it like time lapsing it, like we have time lapses up there we have time lapse there all around we'll fly the drone and stuff it looks like they got all the shingles and stuff up there and ready uh today and so that's ready to go and they got most of the siding, so that's gonna be stone. So, oh, there's Banjo and Jake. So you see, you can see it's that's it, it's large. It's not small. Uh, and then the stone, we got stone going there where the Tyvek is, and then I think there's still siding over there. So still some stone to go, still some siding to go. I mean, it still looks like the Sahara Desert. So I mean, we have a lot of work to do. We're projecting Brad saying March, which is optimistic. I'm thinking May 1st would be my, would be like I would be happy. Anything after May 1st, I'm gonna be going. Holy smokes, let's get this going. So anything before that is gonna be a dub. But this, all this is framed up like this because we're gonna put stone. Stone, so it'll be like a stone kind of pillar that holds up the seat. I mean, that's real. That's a real cedar beam. That's like a, what is that? A freaking 12 by 12. I mean, that's a real, real cedar. One chunk of wood, nothing fake. It's, it's large. And we got can lights. So the electricians, the electricians out here, they've done a little bit, but we're still waiting. The HVAC is done and the plumbing is done. The rough ends. We're still waiting on the electrician. Um, that's, 
I think that's the next thing. And then insulation is the other thing. And then drywall. And then this will look different. So bam, this is what it looks like. Again, if you guys are not new here, you probably, yeah. what's going on there? Is that, is that, oh, that's staying. That's, that's, a, yeah, that's the last one. Do what? See how tall this is? Yeah, it's not small. That's a Yeah, that's, that's a giant, and all that, what's he doing? That's all stone. The whole thing, whoop, oh, stone. Gonna stone that? The whole thing is stone. Yeah. That's why it's framed out like freaking yeah, Fort Knox because it's and the whole thing's got to be stone. And then the si fi fireplace is see-through, just like it is now. You'll be able to see right through it. And so it basically seconds as like another window. So I'm not going to go too in depth, but this is my office. As you can, again, in case you guys are new, this is my office. Um, so we'll be doing office things in there. Actually, not really office things. We have That's what today's episode is about is the secret hidden man cave that I just decided to build. We'll go in that here in a second. But those are just bedrooms, bathrooms. There's really nothing crazy. We've got the master over there. The workers are here. They're down in the basement. They're, I think they're doing some, some uh, framing and some uh, siding. So then this is the kitchen. You got cooktops here. You have an island here with the sink. You've got your uh, refrigerator right there on that side. Then this is going to be dining table. So we've got slide, eight foot slider, eight foot sliders on both sides. So we've got a deck out here. So this will be screened in, fully screened all year round, fully screened. So you'll be able to go out here and eat. So it's kind of like an outdoor dining area, indoor dining area. And then this is just a chill spot where you have some like couches and whatever. And then you can see the, the views out there. And so once this gets done, you have your fireplace. So indoor, outdoor fireplace, you'll yell a little bit of so if Macy's mad at you, she gets her own deck and you can have your own deck. That's also a possibility. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, actually, that's our master bedroom door right there, that big slider. So if I get kicked out in the doghouse, I just sleep outside now. That's where I'm going to head. Or, so, or, or in the news part, we're not there yet. We're not there. Yet. And then in here, this is a pantry. I know, I know. I don't know why it has a window and why it's a wall. I mean, this, this is a, was bigger than my bedroom until this, like, last yeah, year. Same, I know. Actually, yeah. yeah. This is the pantry. Pantry ban banjo. Butler's pantry. But we don't have Butler. I don't know why we have I'll be the Butler. It. Banjo. Ban banjo. Butler ban in, like, a little tuxedo. Oh God, yeah. Oh God. And then in here is the laundry room, which why else would you have a laundry room without this view here? And, oh, I get a walk out here. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at that. So why not do laundry when you can just walk outside? I'll be airing out my undies right here. Oh, yeah, yeah they'll, be, they'll be flapping in the wind. Yeah, he's so he's cutting siding right here. So there's your view. Now that you can kind of see it, now that we're out here. So anyways, he's, he's busy doing siding things. But this is the laundry room. So you have your washer. I'm guessing that's your dryer. I have no idea what all this is, but laundry room thing. And then this is a coat closet. I don't own very many coats, so I'm not sure why it's this big, but it is. So that's a closet banjo. Banjo's coming out of the closet. There you wow. go. Oh, wow. And uh, then in here, we got a bathroom, toilet, sink that you can kind of go through there or you can come through on that side. But most important, the man stuff. This is the garage. This is where we spend a lot of time hanging out. We've got a doggy bath there and a lot of the dog stuff are gonna hang out in here. Huge garage, three car garage. I can fit three, huh? And that's the right elevator. Here. Yeah, we've got an elevator. Not for me, that's for storage. We'll show you that here in a second. But we got three car garage. You can fit three of my pickups in. It's not like a normal three car garage. These are 10 by 10s. So three giant, you know, three quarter ton pickups can fit in here, plus some. Um, there's because there's like a little bump out here. Then you've got some, I don't even know what you do on over here. A motorcycle park here? Maybe, maybe a little, early? maybe a little. Little golf cart action could probably actually squeeze up in here. You could always put the dogs here too. This little cubby area. Yeah. Because it's already walled there. You would just have to put almost like a big baby gate. Yeah, and you just have a door you can And then you got a door that you can let them in and out of. We could put a doggy door right there. Yeah. Maybe that. So the reason why we're talking about dogs is because initially, initially, before everything, we were gonna put the kennels right where those boxes are. And then I'm like, man, heating and cooling this big because I don't want them inside. I know you guys are like, yeah, oh my god, I cannot believe you're letting your dogs inside. Listen, they've been inside my current house for like a two years and they destroy it. They don't destroy it, but they shed an obnoxious amount that it is physically impossible to keep up with the cleaning it. It's not, it's literally not possible. And this house is too damn big for me to spend four days sweeping. You guys, if you don't want me to put the dogs out here, then what you get is one video a week. So I'm gonna spend the other days sweeping. And I'm not about that sweeping life. So, I, and listen, we, we, we figure we're gonna build them something nice. We can still hang out with them. We are gonna fence in this entire property so they can run around. That's what dog, dogs, they're, they're labs, they're mountain dogs. They wanna go outside and do things. But when it's hot, especially Millie, she don't do good in the hot. So we are like, we need like a legit, cause right now we keep in the garage they sleep in the garage they stay in the house during the day but then they sleep in the garage at night and we have like ac units and it just looks janky and i was like i want something that looks legit basically a dog house so then i told brad i said we've got space above the garage up on the second level let's turn that into a dog barnuminium and so that was the plan. I was like, cool, let's put some steps here. We walk all the way up. I was like, literally a dog aminium, like couches where they can just hang out. If I wanna go hang out with the dogs inside, I'll just come hang out with the dog aminium. Put maybe a TV, maybe just something nice and subtle. And then bam, 1500 square feet. And I'm like, cheese and rice. What, why is there so much room for these damn dogs? These dogs don't take up that much space. So then I'm like, man, I feel like all this space cannot just be used for a dog. Like, don't worry. I mean, Lucy and Millie would have a great time up here, but they don't need all this space. I mean, to show you, I mean, we've got, Windows everywhere. Huge window here. Uh, what? Red. Red. What? Up? What happened to you? Yeah, he's he's man down. Like this is bigger than my house. house I've ever lived in. 
It's 1,500 square feet. Yeah. No reason for this. So then I'm like, well, I can't make all this for just dogs. I'm like, so what do I do with it? And as you guys know, oh, wasp. Hey, 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 hey. As you guys know, we are going to be building a shop out here and a barnuminium. And like the barnuminium, the whole idea was like, you'd have a shop. And actually, it'd be over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Over on that area. That's where it'd be. But I was like, big shop. And then you have living quarters attached to it. So we can go to the shop, do our thing, go inside, have AC, maybe a bedroom, and have a catch can cook, cook area, and all that stuff. And then, as you guys know, everything's getting insanely expensive. It's taking longer than we thought. Plus, the people, the county around here in the city are being kind of sticklers about having two livable dwellings. So we'd have to parcel out the property. So then, like, the property lines would get all messed up. And then I got to file for permits, and that's expensive. There's a whole 99 reasons, and it wasn't a good idea. So I said, Brad, what if we make up here a man cave? a YouTube studio, a cash clean cook station. It's already attached to my house, but it's far away from my house to not bother Macy and the baby, but it's still close. And again, the shop is just gonna be right around the corner. It's not the end of the world. So that's what we did. So Brad gets out his little marker and starts drawing. And he's like, that's where your cooktop's gonna be. You're gonna have a hood here. You're gonna have, well, there's nothing back here. You're gonna have a sink back here. And then you're gonna have maybe a pantry over here. And then you come over here on this side and you've got your bathroom. So we've got a bathroom over here with a toilet, a sink and a shower. And I don't know which order that's gonna go, but Toilet sink shower, so there it is. Yep, yep. And push it out, you got it, squeeze it out. Basically that, it's gonna be an apartment, a man cave. It's gonna be sick. And then all this will be open. You'll have a couch, living room, a TV, somewhere in here. And then bam, this is what Brad drew up. That is gonna be a custom glass window, door, wall, French door area. So here, you're gonna open two French doors. Boom, boom. And you're gonna walk in, and this will be a office slash apartment like you could like up with a bedroom in it and so that way you can have it i mean literally so somebody can come stay it'd be a youtuber apartment like anyone that wants to come stay you'd have your own bed you have your own bath you have your own kitchen you have everything but this is where the youtube shenanigans can can happen this is where we come up do all of our catching cooks and like if we want to do have like a meeting in the office we'll have computers here editing computers everything that we we're supposed to have in the barnuminium we can put up here so i don't have to build a barnuminium because money don't grow on trees all right we're still building a shop 100 yeah i got too much crap but building living quarters attached a shop would be like a minimum of a quarter million dollars minimum quarter million dollars and this is not free but it's already here and to build this out if i were to take a freaking stab i'd say 100k to fit to get this completely done with today's market you're gonna have to spray foam the whole or at least insulate the entire thing also spray foam insulate the whole thing drywall the whole thing maybe do some uh reclaim wood put in a three-quarter bath Put in a full-size kitchen. You know, I don't know if we're gonna do a dishwasher, but full, basically full-size kitchen plus a glass wall and the bedroom and all. So I'm just gonna say 100. Now it may not be 100, but the good news is we don't have to bring contractors back. When the drywall guy comes, you just tell Jerry, go upstairs, Jerry, and drywall up there while you're here. It's cheaper that way because they're already after drywall. So it's like if you're gonna do it, it's cheaper to do it now than later. Isn't that right, Banjo? Absolutely. You gotta do it when it's yeah. cheaper. So and then we're gonna have an AC unit here up against there and then we have another one down there. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. So a few months back, Brad and I were giving a tour of the house, so I think on one of his videos, and we started talking and I was like, why is there so much space above my kitchen? And he's like, well, cause it's a ranch. I'm like, but there's so much lumber up there. Why don't we do something? So bam, this is storage now. We are above the kitchen. And well, actually we're taking above the coat closet, part of the laundry room and the bathroom down here. So this just got added. This was not in the plans, but look at all this space. Yeah, all this space. The reason why we only made it this big and didn't go all the way is because there's a bump up here in the kitchen. That's literally the kitchen. And then that's the living room. You can see the vault. And then there's the other side. So we could actually build out the other side too. I don't, we don't want a two story. That's why we built a ranch. But I just was like, dude, there's way too much space up there, Brad. We got to do something. So Alex and the framing guys came out, framed it, put it here. We are still going to frame these walls up all the way. So this is insulated because in the summer, which is now, it's gonna be like 117,000 degrees in here and you're not gonna be able to store anything that could possibly melt. And if any time you need to go get something, you're gonna be regretting it. And the same thing in the winter, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be chilly. So this is the elevator right here. So you might be wondering why do you have an elevator? I don't really know, but I thought it was cool. Brad was like, you need an elevator. I was like, yes, I do. But this is for heavy stuff. I think the elevator can bring up like 250 pounds at a time. And so you stack, I mean, that's a lot of boxes. So you put all your like, you know, the big tubs, all those storage boxes, you stack them up. You have a control panel here and down there. Stack them up there. You go up the stairs. You come up. And then boom, it's up here. Then you grab it and you go store it wherever you want. You don't have to use it. You can use the stairs, but if it's something heavy, something awkward, it's, it's ready for an elevator. That was the plan. So originally we only had the upstairs for storage. And as you can see, I don't, I, I know I have a lot of stuff. Storage? I think you need to start selling stuff if this is all you need for storage. <laughs> 
So then I was like, dog aminium. And then I finally got up here and I was like, YouTube apartment slash office slash kitchen slash bathroom slash literally an entire living area. And then I was like, that's when I said, then build this out for the storage. Cause then Brad was like, well, where are you gonna put all your stuff for storage? I said, well, let's just frame it above here. So we've added and we've added. If you remember the original plans, there wasn't supposed to be any space under the garage, which you'll see that. And then this is above the garage. So we have between above the garage, the garage and below the garage is 4,500 square feet. That's bigger what? than that's bigger than my house right now. Your the house I live, house my right entire house right now. Just the garage above and below it is bigger than that. But we're gonna make use of it. You're gonna have an entire, you added a whole nother bedroom, a whole nother bathroom, a whole nother kitchen. Also, yeah, between this kitchen, the main kitchen, and then the four season, we have three kitchens. I think I have, I have at least, I have two washer and dryers, two dishwashers, three cooktops. Makes no sense. Why do you need three kitchens? How many toilets? Eight. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven poopers. We you have to do like a 50 foot radius because I know what it's like when it hits, it hits. Yeah. yeah you gotta have a place to go, you know what yeah. I mean? You could take a different poop in that different toilet every, single every day. day of the week. This is yeah. Monday up here. Yeah, Monday. yeah Monday, this is the Monday pooper. So yes, there's a lot of poopers. I know you're just like, you flare and you quit adding stuff. Why do you need this big vase? I don't, but we started with, and I'm just my, the problem is Brad and I, we just, when we have an idea, we just do it. We don't even care. We're just like, no, 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 we're going to do it. It's going to be cool. And we're both like that. So I have no one telling me to stop doing it. My wife tries, not successfully, because uh, she also has ideas. So anyways, you want to turn the air compressor back on? You're good. Go ahead. Yeah, you guys get back to work. I'm, I don't want to hold you up. All right, well, we'll head downstairs. All right, we are headed downstairs. They're working, so I apologize for the noise, but we are headed down. It shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's quite down here. So here's the basement. Like I said, a lot of you guys see us, but bam, gun room. I know there's not a whole lot of light in here. I apologize. Oh, you can see it. So there'll be a little tunnel up there or area up there. You can go hang out or do something. Well, shelves here, pews all over. And then there's some space up there as well. So a huge walk-in pew room. Why purple rock? Uh, purple, it's purple sheet rock, not purple rock. Purple sheet rock is for is moisture. It's what you put in bathrooms. Uh, okay, and so okay. it, since you're down in the basement, there could be moisture issues. Um, we will put dehumidifiers in there, but that's pretty much the plan with the pew room. Look, we got HVAC. Uh, that's that's a whole furnace hood crawl up in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. So we got two HVACs. Yeah, there's two, and this one's actually in. Uh, Brad said that we needed two to make sure that heat and air he gets distributed equally throughout the house because it's a ranch and it's spread out. So bam, that thing looks pretty nice. I don't know how it works or what it does really, but it uh it pumps heat and does the heating. I think to so do the cooling too or just the heating. I guess as good as mine. Anyone know? Cooling? I think I think that's a furnace, but maybe it's a cooler. Maybe no, that would be a furnace. Your AC unit would be outside, yeah. Well, yeah, but your AC, your, you have a. Oh, I guess that's your furnace filter. But then your AC. No, yeah, your AC unit's outside. outside. But the four is your furnace filter and your furnace, I guess. I just remember, I just know when I change my furnace filter. Is this where you change it right here? It just says it just says heater on it. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's in there. Yeah, that's your filter. So there's your furnace. So I got two of them. One's installed, one's almost getting done. We still have some work to do on the movie theater. The movie theater needs to have kind of a deck built here. So that way it's a tiered system. So the deck will go all the way to this spot here. And then you'll step down to another one. So that way you'll have a couch. Yep. So one couch, two couch, and then go get behind him. Just don't ask, just do it. And then Banjo's at the bar. Like, right up right up on him. Oh, no, no, no. Nut to butt. I know what no, 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 it is. It's right there. It's, right here. it's not too bad. Right yeah. No, no, no. So no, no. is this higher up? Yes. This, so it's so, three level. No, it's just you're sitting up high on a bar. You're sitting uh, low on a couch. Uh, okay. So it's like bar stools. You'll sit yeah. up okay. on the couch. You'll sit down and then it'll st st stair step down to another one. Okay. So you'll have two levels. But then, and then, but this is where the popcorn and the candy, snack bar. full on Dr. Pepper soda machine. Oh, really? No, no I'm lying. Oh, I'm lying. Is this whole thing the screen? I, I think. I, no, I have no idea. We have a projector. This is the movie theater. So they still have a lot of work with the movie theater to do. Um, bedrooms, bathrooms over here. Not all that crazy interesting, I feel like. Maybe you guys think it's cool. Maybe not. Um, and then we've got these doors and windows. I don't remember what was here last time, but I don't think a ton because I think they were pouring concrete. So. You've got your doors here, two. Why you have two? I have no idea. I thought maybe they'd need to be windows, maybe not. And then stone, stone on this one too. Fireplace here? See-through. See-through again? Yeah, double, two see-throughs. Oh yeah, you saved money. Because we were supposed to do four fireplaces, and I looked at Brian's four. Why don't we do two see-throughs? He's like, I've never done see-through. And I was like, then let's do it at my house. So that's what we're doing. Here is gonna be custom glass wall. So there'll be a glass, big glass wall with that, can, that does glass things. And then we have a nano wall, this thing, Right here, it's called a nano wall. Little did I know, it's made in Germany and imported and cost $25,000. I had no idea 
Brad's like, you need a nano. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a nana, nana. Nana, yeah. I have a nana. You have a nana? No, my, my, my nana's nice. Really? Yeah, a nana. Like grandma, yeah. nana. Oh, yeah, grandma. Yeah, nana. I don't call her nana. Did nana, nana cost 25 grand though? Oh, this nana does. Mine does do you not. call yours nana? No, I just made uh, that out. No, but all right, let's see it, Banjo. How do you work it? I have no clue. You push it. Don't no, I think it. you're locked. No, that's Unlocked. Now push. Straight. There it is. Gotcha. Yep. Push. Open. No, you're, you're closed. You're, you're closed. Yep. There you go. It's their first time. Yeah, he understands. Yeah. He gets it. Yeah. There, there you go. All the way open. Expensive, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah I know. He, 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 it was his idea. Very expensive. Yeah. How much? How much? 20, 25. I know, right? What to tell Brad and knock that shit. Second one. We need a second one. No, no, we don't need another one. We don't need another one. And then it opens up. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's like there wasn't even a wall here. Because then you can just jump right in the pool. You can you can run from back there into the pool. Right off the diving board. Right off the diving board. So nano wall. It is cool. I'll, I'll give. I'm not. I'm not. You guys. I'm just giving Brad a hard time. I perfectly agree to the nano wall. I did not know it was 25 grand. But if Brad told me it was, I probably still would have bought it because it's freaking sick. Look at it. I mean, that is awesome. You only get to do something like that once. It's a cool thing. Plus, this is where, so this is the Four Seasons room. If you guys are like, what's that? Trust me, I didn't know either before I started building houses. Four Seasons room is one that you can make it four seasons. It's like a screened in room for year round purpose. Oh, now they're doing it. Nope, now, now, now they're doing it. Okay, and so we've got an, uh, a mini split. That's the AC, heat and AC, it's own heat and AC. So you close this glass wall, you open all those with the two sliders, and now basically outside comes into inside and it's all in one. Or you could close it off and then open this wall. So if you want, if it's the winter time and you want the living room and the bar, so there's be a bar here. So that's why I said we have another sink, another dishwasher, a whole bar. It's not like a full kitchen, but like, huh? Will there be Tito's? Tito's? Yeah. Oh, on tap. Yeah, right. Oh, I'll be here then. It'll be right. This is actually the Tito's hookup, actually. Oh, okay. yeah. This is direct deposit straight from the Tito's tip. Yeah. Lemonade. Yeah. Tito's. Yeah. Tito's well yeah. It's yeah. Just... yeah. Yeah. It's Tito's and lemonade. It, it, yeah. Direct deposit. And the Red Bull right there then. And then, and then the Red Bull. Yeah. Direct, direct deposit. So over here, through this, this, this is the storage room. So this is where, so they're going to, I told them to frame this up. So you got your door here. That's that. So you would kind of come through here. Ideally, you wouldn't really go through that way. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure what we're doing that strap. But you kind of come through here. So you come downstairs. You either go shoot a gun or you come hang out here. Or you go through here. And there's a, yep, you guys got I'm it. Me in the wall. Yeah. Really. And then bam, the, the freaking bat cave. Look, they already got the, the plumbing oh. in. So, bam, uh, oh, so yeah. you, you guys saw in the last video, the last update, they poured this concrete. Look at it. It's wow. huge. So this is here. this is amazing. The acoustics are astounding in here. This is under the garage. So remember the man cave? That's we're two stories beneath that right now. To give you guys kind of an idea of what's huh? You gonna throw a cock? Lob that cock. I like it. You can't break anything down here. That's the whole point. So you guys might be wondering, what are you doing in here? We've talked about sports court. We've talked about bowling alley, some other stuff. What we kind of landed on, since we don't really know, is kind of a multi-purpose space where. It's gonna be designed for kids. I know, trust me, if you guys have kids, you get it. You gotta design it for the kiddos, right? So, what do you do down here? I look at this as an indoor play area, playground, play space, where if they can't be outside, because we live in the Midwest, and the weather is dog shit six months out of the year, then we need a place for the kids to go. I don't want them to just sit on their iPads. No offense, it's just, I, I didn't grow up with them. I mean, none of us did. No. And I thought it was a good idea to, to go out and ride. I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with that. I guess I'm not, I'm not hating on the iPad kids or the kids that like iPads. I like my iPad, I'm on my iPad. I'm basically an iPad kid myself. But I feel like it's super important for kids to get out and play. And I think an excuse a lot of people use is, well, it's, cr it's, it's crummy outside, it's raining, it's snowing. Well, you picked a really shitty place to live if that's the excuse you're gonna give to not have your kids go do like some recreational activity. And we're out in the country, so it's not like we're really close to like a YMCA or some type of lifetime fitness, any place to go and play. So I'm gonna build my own lifetime fitness in my own YMCA, and this is Be Beefcake CA, Banjo. Really? Not YMCA, it's I Beefcake like CA. How do you, see why, how do you, you gotta... That's a lot of wiggling, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, this is, so this is basically a YMCA. So we'll have potentially a ball pit, rock wall, zip line, indoor playground, like a full one of those huge ones, with like the, the two stories with the swirly slide in here. We've also talked about making like a miniature town or village. Now listen, because a lot of you guys hated on Brad's video about that, and Macy got mad at me because I told you guys her plan without really explaining it. It's not like this whole thing's gonna be a village, and that's all it's gonna be, and we're gonna drop a hundred grand building a freaking le legit replica-sized post office, okay? That's not really the plan, Banjo. Nah, we're I talking maybe a fire department, police department, like, a, like I mean, honestly, these are eight by eights. That's all, you, for a kid, kids are, you see yeah, my kid? She, yeah, she ain't big. So you get one little corner, so you have, so one eight by eight, police station, 
eight by eight grocery store, eight by eight doctor's office, whatever you want it to be. So we're thinking maybe build three of them. Beefcake Construction will do it. We'll build them. So it's not gonna happen just today. We're gonna end up putting in some type of multi-purpose floor that's kind of like a, hopefully something kind of spongy. What are you thinking? Dodgeball. Like we have this would be this would be a good dodgeball arena. Racquetball could be racquetball or batting cage. We want it to be multi-purpose, so we have to figure out where we want to put the village. But when I said village in Brad's video, everyone's like, "Oh my God, Flavin, that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard." You might be right. You might. But I'm telling you, like, there's something around here. I don't know if you guys have. It's called the Children's Museum. The coolest place on earth. That's basically what it is. You go there, and they've got a little grocery store, a little doctor's office, a little area to ride bikes. And so, like, so that's what we want to build, a miniature scaled down version, BK Construction, where maybe it's in that far corner, right? You, you go over there, we want to be able to have bikes down here, have your tricycles, have your scooters, pick a soccer ball against the wall, and a basketball. So what we're thinking on the design-wise would be this over here, maybe the village, somewhere in this corner. And then you can see, Banjo, you can do me quick, what are you spelling? What are you spelling? What are you spelling? Beefcake. Oh, you're spelling beefcake? How's that going? No, it looks good. Beefcake. As I say, do you want to stand in that corner and then Jake, do you want to stand in that corner? Show them, I think the basketball court. Oh, how big it is? Yeah, yeah, just so they understand. So that corner, Banjo, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's your basketball court. So the hoop would go Kobe right there in the middle. Banjo's the hoop. So the, the court will run this way. I know you're like, well, you could run it this way and it would be longer, but it would take up the whole space. The thing about where you play basketball is you don't want to be running down here, passing the ball and then hitting the miniature town. So the town could be kind of out of the way. This would, like, this would be maybe the ball pit in the corner, then the town, and then the zip line that just goes to here. And then you have just a basketball court that you could do anything. You can put a soccer goal there and kick. So it's like a half court, basically. It's not a full court. I think it's smarter because if you just have a full court basketball down here, it's not terrible, but like I would rather it be small. These are for kids. Like it's not recreational freaking Olympic size everything. Like it doesn't have to be. So again, you guys, I need you guys' help. What should we do? Do you really think it's a terrible idea? I think this is going to be a closet right here. So this is where you could put your crap in here. You can put the dodgeballs. You can put maybe some bikes, stuff like that. So you can at least tuck it away. And then you'd have your basketball court right where the beefcake is and then you would walk past the basketball court for like just the straight up kids area. Ball pit, zip line, rock wall, town, you name it. It's all gonna be down back in there in that corner. That's in my head. I really think we're probably gonna have BFK Construction do a lot of it because I don't think until we get in and start living here are we gonna really understand what we want. And I don't wanna have Brad get the contractors and rack up the bill for something that we're not 100% confident in. Just like you guys are saying, maybe it's a terrible idea, so we need your guys' comments. We'll wait till we'll move, we're moved in, a beefcake construction, we'll build a mini town, a ball pit, a rock wall, a zip line, and a basketball court, and whatever else you guys want. But it's probably not gonna be a bowling alley. It's probably not gonna be an indoor gun range. It's just not smart to do that. So that's kind of what we're thinking. We gotta put some steps here so you can see the, you got the steps, Brad's. Brad's got the steps thing figured out right there. So that's the plan under the garage. So basically this room, the garage and above the garage is all kind of like fun areas, fun spaces. For us, the man caves upstairs, we're gonna put reclaim wood everywhere. I can put all my mounts up there, it'll be sick. It's a sweet man cave, you go out there, you hang out. Then you go in the garage where you work on whatever you want or you can go to the shop and you go beneath it so Banjo can play with dolls. I wanna do a cornhole in there. Cornhole would work. Indoor bow range. Yeah. Like I said, I Unlimited. think, and also, as you guys know, well, some of you guys may know, but I have a daughter. She's like, you know, 10, 11 months. So she's not going to be necessarily, you know, shooting hoops Shoot and playing with the town yet. So maybe, here's a theory. Maybe Beefcake Construction build something Beefcake Construction worthy for us, yeah. like a bow range, yeah. like a, you know, bags range, like, so we can use it for just anything for like maybe a year or two. And then once Brooklyn gets old enough to start wanting villages and stuff, then we can build it, right? Cause it's, a, I feel like right now, if you turn that thing into a YMCA, it's premature. She can't even walk. So it's like, I feel like there's not gonna accomplish She can't even walk. She can't, <laughs> I like that. she can't even walk. So why would you build her YMCA? It's a little premature. She can get any use out of a ball pit right now. Are no. you putting like your workout equipment in there for now, you think? Uh, probably, yeah. put, like, a, there's enough room for yeah. it. We could put gym down, it, like there's unlimited things you could do down there. You could put whatever you want. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much the plan. That's the update. I mean, I feel like we missed anything. I mean, we got some doors over here. The, this is a uh, powder bathroom. So you'll come in from the pool and you can go poop and change. I was really trying to remember last time, but I think you guys were just, we were pouring concrete. So all of it's just framed up. You know, it's two bedrooms over there with a Jack and Jill bath. What else, am I missing anything? 
I, I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. What else? What else was there? No doors, no windows. Last time they saw it. So other than that, and no plumbing, no HVAC. And the HVAC. I mean, all none the of HVAC. That like super, super crazy. Yeah, none of us too crazy. But we figured it's been like literally three months since I gave you guys an update. And so I figured I give it. But if you want sooner updates, like I said, Brad the Builder, his channel gives basically weekly updates and goes through kind of the day by day on what it's like to build a house. And that's pretty much what we've been doing. We're chugging along. All we gotta get is the electrician in here. Once the electrician's done, we can uh, insulate the entire thing. Once the insulation's done, then we can drywall the, and then once the drywall's in, then it's really gonna start looking like a house. And then you bring in the painter to do for the tile. You bring in your cabinets, you bring in your floor guy. So after the drywall, at least it's kind of what Brad's been telling me, after the drywall, it's like freaking go time. Right now, it's just kind of one contractor at a time, chipping away, inching away. Like I said, I don't think we can wait for this house to be done in order to get our house in the market because we don't want to have to wait a whole nother year to sell our house. So there's a pretty decent chance we're going to end up be selling it, which may make, may make us homeless in which you might be thinking, well, where are you going to put all the animals? Where are going to put all your stuff? That's a million dollar question. We want to put them out here. As you've seen, there's tons of land. We have to build the barns. We have to build the fences. We have to get water. We have to get power. All, none of that stuff is ready down where the animals are. So we have to go freaking a million miles an hour to get it. And we have no place to live. And so we might be taking over Jelly Man's house and doing like a 30 day, like basically if we put our house in the market and it goes under contract and we have 30 days, we have to literally flip that house in 30 days and make it livable and make it Macy approved. Not Beefcake Construction approved, not Ocean approved. Macy approved in 30 days, which would be insane. If we do that, all of those videos will be on the Beefcake Construction channel. So I have another channel, in case you guys didn't know, called Beefcake Construction. We actually have been posting on it a ton, at least once a week, sometimes twice, all of the Beefcake Construction projects. So if we start building out the basement, some of those videos might be here, some of them might end up on Beefcake Construction. So if you guys wanna stay tuned and not miss on anything, you gotta go check out that channel too. There's so much going on, we have three freaking channels just to document this house properly but that's what it takes we're working on a fourth banjo really we're working on a fourth and fourth. it's and it's not yours channel channel yeah fourth channel that? oh yes. you know it's, it's yeah, the, the cc it took him a second it might be my favorite one out of four no. really yeah. you think it, it's definitely gonna get the most subscribers oh, out of yeah. all combined oh, yeah. mine beefcake and brad's combined our fourth channel idea would go way above and beyond it and we're working on it and if we do go through with it we're probably gonna launch it when we move into this place or soon Maybe it could be, could be this fall, or we might wait a couple months. We're not sure. We're trying to plan it out right now, but we will be running four channels that then will be documenting this house, which is a Man little obnoxious. Needs a race. <laughs> really? Four channels? That. We're at four channels. He needs a race. I say we, you, start, you start filming on your channel. We got to get five. True. Really? You got yours. Yeah. That's five cool. channels just to document well, this house. Home. You just hang out with all the workers and just you, you boss them around. Yeah. Ban oh, yeah. Banjo the boss. So that's pretty much the update on the house. Like I said, there's not... I mean, there is a lot, but it's not super appealing to the eyes. You know, you guys may not see it as super crazy. But I mean, like, all this. Look at all them cedars. All that cedar bean. Banjo said he wants his YouTube plaque. He's a, he needs 40,000 more subs, he said. And then I'll start Out of 100, I think it's a lot. I'll, yeah. start, I'll start posting once I get to the 100. He, Banjo, so, yeah. All right, so Banjo's channel needs to hit 100K, and he's going to start, stuff. and then he'll drop his OnlyFans yeah, link. Yeah, 100%. So, feet picks and all. Feet, feet picks and all. <laughs> Banjo's horny. All right, well, there you have it, folks. There is the house update. I'm going to do my best to get a new one up sooner than three months. I, I'm gonna, I'll make a promise. When the siding and the stone is done, when the electrical is done, when the insulation is done, and when the drywall is done. We'll get you guys another update. But if you want to see each individual step to that, like I said, Brad the Builder channel has all of that. And you can go check that out. So there you have it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This house is coming along. Hope you guys enjoy the updates. Um, like I said, if you do, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in the next one. And peace.